we are gonna end a decade old debate today. Because we've been traveling around the world in various tiny homes since 2011. And the number one thing we've always argued about. Do we need a dishwasher? And it's always been like this hypothetical debate. You talk to people, you get their opinions, you think about what might or might not work. And right now, we're in the middle of building our next floating home, and we find ourselves having the same old debate. It's all gonna change today. <laughs> because we have a dishwasher. On somebody else's boat, yeah. but we have a dishwasher. I have always been the naysayer. And I've been the, let's do it! Which clearly, he has <laughs> never convinced me because it's, it's been I've a been decade. been a loser for the past 10 years. <laughs> Dang it. That's right. For the first time in our nomadic lives, we're experiencing life with the dishwasher because we're sailing our friend's trimaran down the coast of the U.S. to Miami for them. All right. This debate ends now. Well, no, it's just now starting. Oh, okay, yeah. It'll end at the end of this video, or at least so we hope. So let me introduce you to the dishwasher that we've been using. It's the Bosch Silence Plus. It's a very small dishwasher, but I think it's great for two to four people or two people, two meals. And we've always considered like the pull out drawer style or sometimes we call it the bachelor style uh, dishwasher. You have considered. Well, yeah, I have considered, yeah, that's right. You've drank We, that. most of us in the world would like to have a dishwasher besides Nikki. I've been using it for the past few weeks and I'm excited to put it side by side against Nikki's hand washing. The deal in our household is if you do the cooking, you don't have to do the cleaning. And typically I do the cooking, which makes Jason the dishwasher. So my argument has always been, I have a dishwasher, he works great, his name is Jason. <laughs> and I don't complain about wanting a cook on board, so I don't quite fully understand this argument. I think I can be just as efficient as the dishwasher, but I'm also not the one that does the dishwashing. So back to you, love, you can tell us your primo arguments for why we need a dishwasher, and then I'll tell you why we don't. <laughs> Again. It's more efficient to have a dishwasher. It uses less water. It uses less energy. Because on a boat, we don't always have hot water. I have to turn on the engine to get hot water, or I have to turn on the electric hot water heater, which uses a ton of our battery power, or I have to boil a kettle. So the dishwasher automatically just makes the water hot using very little energy. So that's the biggest one for me. It saves water, it saves energy. Number two, it's kind of a, I don't know, maybe you call it vain or something, but in humid climates, my fingers get, you know, like when you swim and they get like wavy and then they get cracky. When Nikki's cooking a lot, which I love, I'm doing dishes a lot and then I get like, you know, kind of weird Peely fingers. fingers. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's a big one. When you don't have a dishwasher, you wash the dishes, you set them out in a drying rack. Now you've got dishes out all the time, which not only looks junky, but it also can become dangerous if we're out to sea or if we're at an anchorage when we get a big boat coming by and they cause us to roll, then one of these glasses can flip over and then push. So now, not only am I having to hand wash all the dishes, I'm having to spend extra time to hand dry all the and dishes. And now you just busted your favorite whiskey glass. My favorite whiskey glass. Think about how many sponges we would save. <laughs> If, if no sponges were harmed in the washing of the dishes, then these sponges would last forever. Getting to the bottom of the list here. And okay. the same for cloths and, and any sort of device that you use to clean stuff. It has to be washed, it has to be sanitized, it has to be clean, and that uses energy and or water. Speaking of sanitary. Oh, a dishwasher sanitizes dishes way more than I can possibly do by hand because it heats the water up to such a temperature that my just, my hands can't handle. So it all boils down to my hands. Boils down. Sorry, I just, yeah. Okay, you're yeah. done now. And so here's my rebuttal. His number one thing is water and energy savings. Now, all of these statements that are put out by the dishwasher companies are based off of like household use. And we are not your average household users. We have limited resources. We're very, very efficient with our water and energy use. We use far less than the average household because we can't just open the tap and let it flow. We have to make more of it. So we just know that it's more precious. I use very little water, so I think to wash dishes. And as far as energy goes, okay, I'll give you that one because it will take probably more energy to heat, even if I used a kettle to make my hot water, I'll burn as much energy doing that as what that dishwasher would to do an entire load. So I'll give you that point. Now, as far as time goes, I the shortest run on that dishwasher is 15 minutes. 
and that's for like not a heavily soiled load which I don't think we have a heavily soiled load here so fair enough if it can do it in 15 minutes I think I can do this round of dishes in 15 minutes too this is me being a little bit hopeful but we'll see and then let's I'm looking at my list here saves your precious hands not my hands not my problem <laughs> thanks honey <laughs> no okay so even if it were my hands every day fair enough fine maybe <laughs> I'll buy you nicer hand lotion uh, gloves gloves you could wear gloves uh, they get sweaty and the same thing uh, yeah, okay. okay aesthetics okay I'll give you the aesthetics thing we had like a basin in curiosity so we really didn't have to see it so it was really out of sight out of mind it also was safer because we didn't have to worry about dishes rolling around now on a boat like this it is um, much more of a problem so we have to wash and then dry the washing and drying in 15 minutes ah, that's gonna be I, I don't know if I'll be able to do that we'll see and more sanitary true fair it is gonna sanitize in a way that I can't do by hand washing and less sponge cloths. I just think that's really like scraping the bottom of the barrel there. Uh, because we don't go through that many cloths. But yes, they have to be sanitized or washed. And that uses energy. It, it does. So I'll give it to you. But <laughs> Asterisk. Yeah, big asterisk. All right, so now we get into the real challenge. Me versus the dishwasher. So I'm going to let Jason load the dishwasher first because that still counts as like time. So we'll give his tally and then I have to do the same exact set of dishes also timed plus we have a couple of devices to help capture water and we're gonna see how much water I use to wash all of these dishes I feel like do I have to dry them too I feel like I shouldn't have to dry no, you don't them. have to dry them okay it's so well, not gonna dry them perfectly either yeah. not the 15 minute no. or in the eco setting so agreed okay so no drying drying time doesn't count these are the dishes from breakfast and lunch, and that's what's going to go in the dishwasher. Here we go. Start. Okay, I'm not going to rush. I'm going to pretend like it's a normal. That's, that's yeah. the whole point. Yeah, it's just normal. Everything is normal. One thing about the shape of these plates is they're kind of raised lip, almost bowl-like. So unfortunately, with this dishwasher, it kind of makes me have to skip a place, so I can't hold quite as much as I think it probably could hold if the dishes were normal size. So I guess that is one downside. It's almost like you have to buy the dishwasher and then buy all the plates to fit inside of the dishwasher. These are pretty soiled, I think. That's from breakfast. Those with scrambled eggs. So those are pretty dirty. And also this maxes out our silverware supply so we only have five forks on this boat so the dishes have to be run now or else we have to hand wash this, one goes here. this is where the tetris starts okay this goes here and i would have to hand wash this so i can't wash that we are loaded and ready to go. One big gripe about this dishwasher, this is like the standard size detergent holder. So this is what you would find in like a normal size dishwasher and it's kind of deceiving. It makes you think, I need to put a lot of soap in there. But no, this is like, you just need a little bit. So just a little squirt. And then I just do a little bit for the pre-wash. It's just a little squirt. And then, uh, there we go. And I'm gonna choose, because they're Ah, they're on the edge. I should really probably choose the eco mode, which takes like an hour and a half or something. No, it's like three hours. Three hours. So I should technically probably use the eco mode because it does a better job at washing. It goes slightly higher temperature for those more soiled things. Like especially when we've had like curry and spaghetti and sort of anything kind of oily. Um, these are kind of eggs wash off fairly easy. So I'm going to go 45, which is like the super, it's 45 degrees and it goes super fast, um, which means we'll have enough dishes cleaned and time for dinner. In your timer. Oh, so that's three minutes, 56 seconds and a minute of talking. So mm -hmm. your turn. Oh, I'm gonna take the same dishes out. So she's gonna have to wash those dishes, exactly the same dishes, so. Yeah. And I think it's a nice challenge because we've got some 
some real whiz bangers like this. <laughs> whiz bangers? This is cheddar cheese, extra sharp cheddar cheese on a microplane. That's tough. That takes time, honey. You don't know. You I, I don't smell know. like I've never washed dishes before. This egg? This egg's now stuck on here for like I four hours. My dishwasher. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a challenge, honey. <laughs> As far as unloading the dishes, the only downside about this setup is it's underneath the drawer that holds the dishes. So I've got to unload it onto the counter and then open this and then put it all into the drawer. Not a big thing, it's just, just an extra step. But it's so easy. <laughs> Stop recording! Stop recording! That yes. <laughs> it's kind of narrow, so it's kind of hard to fit the silverware back there. Mm -hmm. But it works so great, I promise. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, that's closed. To help catch spillage, measuring bucket. But before I get started, whenever Jason mentioned having to pull out the drawer reminded me of my other con oh. and it's a big one and that is space so this kitchen this kitchen this galley whatever will be so similar to the size of our galley on our 44. now the difference being is we will have more cabinet space than what this one does because this is like this whole space is all no cabinets we will have cabinets so they had to get rid of an extra drawer there to be able to fit that in. So this is it. This is their only storage along with the cutlery drawer. Well, okay, fine. And you got one more down here below the stove, but it's not a lot because this is the trash. And then this is just like little extra cleaning, whatever. Anyway, there's not a lot of cabinet space in here. So to give that space up for a dishwasher is big. And that's always been my big concern is I do a lot of cooking, we have a lot of stuff, so space, that's, I don't want to give it up. That's the other issue that's going on here. Okay, now, now that my rant is over. Okay, I'm gonna hit start. Okay. I just thought of something else I can do. Don't no, say. <laughs> no, I'll show you. Okay, ready? Yep. Go. Yoshimi, I need your help. Yoshimi. You're wasting time. I'm not wasting time. Yoshimi, come yeah. here, come here. You want, it, you want any of that? Yes! That's a good girl! Told you, I thought of something. Not fair. Oh, you can have that one too. Okay, you work on those. Good girl. Yeah! Nice! It's working! Yo. <laughs> good girl. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Don't let him distract All you. All the way. Give her the cheese grater. That could be bad. Uh. <laughs> oh. It's a sponge killer. You gotta use the. Yeah, you can use... only go the one direction with the cheese grater. It's like caked on. We waited too long. I need a better scrubber. This is not my book. See, I'd have different tools. You want another one? Here, try that one. Yeah, get it, girl. See, dishes are fun. Uh -huh. I'm having such a good time right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut here and come back to you in 20 minutes. No, gonna... we are only two minutes 55 seconds in, and I am practically halfway done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your assistance. That'll do, dog. That'll do. Good job. She didn't do a good enough job on this one. <laughs> Sandpaper tongue action on this one. Now comes the tedious part. And look at that water go. One. <laughs> Feeling good. This is gonna work. Ooh, that looks like a balancing nightmare there. It's gonna be fine. Don't judge me. No, I don't know. No. Gotta be fine. No. <laughs> fine, fine. Somebody's getting all paranoid. Go for this one. There you go. Put those clean dishes on a dirty towel. It's not Perfect. Dirty. You're dirty. Okay. okay. Back to what I was 
doing. I don't even know if my timer's still going. It's going. Speed me up ten times. Not in hell, not in this anchorage. Whoa. Whoa, there we go! Hey, okay. um, I have an official seven cups. I, mean, I need to dump. Okay. I get a 10 Pause second it. grace period. hands down than the dishwasher. Yeah, but you actively did the dishes for 15 minutes. Whereas for I- For 13 minutes! Well, Stop I, exaggerating! I passively take a couple minutes to load I it. I passively washed <laughs> the dishes and I did other things in between. Like feed the dog and- Yes! Dance. It was very productive. 13 minutes, but when, if, when you wash the dishes, you're not doing anything else. You wash the dishes. Yeah, so your life and I times just three, my hands and times did extra. three meals a day. Yes. That's an hour of I the day like, spent doing I dishes. I feel like we need to swap jobs. You can do the cooking and I will do all the dishes and then we'll see. Although my fingers are slightly wrinkly even after 13 minutes. It's not, it's just a little wrinkly. You just have skin issues. So then yours gets all peely and flaky. Do that three times a day. Okay. Challenge accepted. All right, so now we need to measure my water. Let's see, if I put this aside, you want me to sponge it? I'll sponge it. Okay. So that's two tubs, this is tub number three. Are you bored of dishes too? Yeah, I know. Tub number three. All right, tub number four. Not even gonna have enough in here to fill this one up. What about all the water on the counter? Are you gonna include that? <laughs> I'll stop it up too if you want to. <laughs> you want to go there? We can get nitpicky. Okay, so that was tub number four. Oh, I don't know how to measure that. Quarter? One. We just call it a quarter. Okay. Now you gotta wash your hands. Did you capture that water? <laughs> Three and a quarter tubs. Each tub is seven. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna have to use the. Yeah. Okay, what's the rectangle of knowledge? Tell us. All right, so I read up the website for this dishwasher, and it says energy consumption 0.45 kilowatt hours. Okay, half a kilowatt hour. That one works for like light soil. Yeah. Stuff. Then how much did you use? I don't want to tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> and then plus, do we count the water that you know spilled all over me while I was trying to help you? Look at this. It's Whatever. Like... Oh, okay. It wasn't too bad. So I used 5.38 liters. Okay. So you were more efficient than the eco setting. I'm considerably faster. At 13, 13 minutes is how long it took me to wash. Yeah, but I'm not actively doing it the whole time. I'm just putting it in there and then hitting go and then I'm going to other things. So how much is your time worth? I value my time at $500 an hour. <laughs> Nobody so. is paying you $500 an hour, first of all. So Secondly. Kind of on TV, I don't know. <laughs> Clearly, because you're lying right now. <laughs> Wait, set me up for that one. Thanks, love. Energy efficiency, no. Water efficiency, I'm darn close. Yeah. And time-wise, it's the same. It's just the fact of it, how much do you hate doing dishes. So, Enough that you want a dishwasher, and we have discussed it for 10 plus years. Do I want to give up the space in our galley? And the answer would be... I don't know. 100%. I would love to, but I think the smartest thing to do is for us to get into our new boat, live with it for a while, figure out where everything goes, and then if we have like some extra space or we can migrate some things mm -hmm. to different places, then... And we feel like we can give that space yeah. up, then yes. I feel like the dishwasher is fair because yeah. it definitely is more efficient, overall efficiency and more sanitary and than, letting the, than letting the... Uh, Whatever dog. she well, says. Otherwise we have to get a dog. Yeah, no. <laughs> for pre rinsing No. <laughs> There's just no way. I just, I'm, I'm still, maybe I'm hard headed. I still feel like it uses less time, it uses less water. No matter I just what. proved you. I don't believe what I just saw. I'm getting a dishwasher. Well, it's okay. Yeah. You don't Only, know if okay. you're getting, if yeah. you have this space, 
yes, the dishwasher is amazing and it's lovely to have and it will save your precious fingers. And our marriage, maybe. <laughs> Our precious <laughs> marriage. <laughs> what do you say? Would you go without a dishwasher? Would you ever live without a dishwasher? Have you lived without? Yeah, exactly. How many of you have dishwashers in your tiny spaces? Whether that's your boat, your RV, whatever the case may be. Anyway, please share in the comments below because we'd love to continue this conversation. I would oh, love to read we everybody had... that's on my side. If you're on her side, just don't comment. Uh, just, just vote Jason or Nikki. <laughs> just go ahead and divide it. We're putting <laughs> you in the middle. <laughs> Who's right? Who's oh. wrong? No, let's, it's not about that. It's if you have the space, yeah. yes, I we will get you a dishwasher of your very own. Yeah, we will name it Jason too. <laughs> J two. <laughs> Could just name it Soggy Hands. Uh, peely Hands. That's your oh, Peely yeah, Fingers. Gosh. Peely Fingers. All okay. Right. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully that was insightful. Uh, maybe a look into our marriage. And <laughs> Why we need therapy. <laughs> oh man. And the boat life and you know, tiny living. So yeah. Thank All you. right. Bye, See you guys. next week. Bye. What do you think? See, Yosha's no dishwasher. No, she's a dishwasher. She was happy to be there.